Hey, how's it going all you lovely people? It's Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new episode of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack. And today, we're going to quickly automate uh, refined obsidian ingots. Uh, this isn't going to be too complicated. It should be a pretty quick process here. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to just need to get some AE2 cables found out here. Uh, I may be a little off because I have not actually played Minecraft in a little bit. I've been playing other games. Um, and I have not recorded in a hot minute. Uh, Monday, yesterday, I did not get any video out because I hurt myself. I'm still in quite a bit of pain, but we're going to push through that and we're going to get this going here. So the thing we're going to be looking at here is the Osmium, um, compressor. Okay. We're also going to want, of course, to grab our tier upgrades, which is our, uh, ultimate, our elite and also our advanced okay you can hear everything kicking off here which is fantastic so there's all three of our tiers and then what we're going to grab is that osmium compressor uh, let's not forget about a pipe uh energy pipe place that there place that there let's grab an item pipe and an advanced item pipe this is just quick and easy nothing too extreme with this okay and then we can actually grab another pipe and also another advanced pipe upgrade. We can put that there, disable that side, enable this side. And then that should be everything there. So now we need to change the sides. So front is input, back is output. And that is all we need there. Let's make sure we actually also get auto eject on just in case. It's not always needed, but sometimes. So we're just going to do it anyway. All right, so let's fix that. So that there, that there. So that should be that automated, but we need to just get the pattern, which is the, uh, what was I looking at? So I'm looking at the entangle porter from Mechanism, because this is actually pretty cool. Um, and it's really useful for Mechanism specifically, because there's not a whole lot you can do uh, in the way of transporting chemicals, right? We could do AE2, we could do Applied Mechanism, or Applied Mechanics, what is it called? Applied Mech, what is this called? Yeah, Applied Mechanic, me yeah, that, which you can technically do P2P with chemicals. We're gonna do this completely wirelessly, which is the Entangle Porter, okay? The Entangle Porter isn't that hard to use, it's just you kinda need to get to that point first. So let's get some osmium. I believe it is, um, let's see. I believe it's a one-to-one, -one, but let's just make sure before we actually craft this recipe. And actually, this might not be the correct way to do this, but we'll see. So you need the actual osmium to go into that bottom slot. That gives you 200. Okay, so it is one-to-one, -one. okay? So we're actually going to need to do... Uh, laser node here, which I did not think about. Okay, uh, let's also get our tier upgrades real fast as well. So advanced, oh, I need a basic tier. I didn't even make this a basic tier. Didn't even think about that. So basic tier, good thing we have one. Advanced, elite, ultimate, and then we need to grab a uh, laser node card. Nope, cloner, not that one. Card holder, there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this down, go down. Uh, we're going to need some more uh, item cards. Okay, so on the down direction, we're just going to extract uh, this and this. So extract, extract, one on orange. We're going to then put a basic filter here that is denying osmium. So kind of just like how we did the other machines over here. So this one will be allowing osmium. This one will be denying osmium. Okay. Uh, and we'll throw our overclocker upgrades in here. Okay. And then here, we're going to say... On the west direction, input, input, input orange on the top. 
Okay, and then that one's just gonna be default. So here we're gonna say on the top, we're gonna put the extra. There we go. So that should work. So now we know that it's a one-to-one -one ratio. We should be able to set a recipe here. So let's just grab one piece of osmium. So one-to-one, -one. set that. Let's go get this into the pattern. So just like that. And we should see refined obsidian ingots, which we should be able to craft at least 64 of with no problems. We have problems. What is the problems? Um, I'm assuming there's probably a channel missing or something. Yes. So this actually does not have enough channels to operate. Okay, so here's our main. So that's our main connection point that comes off here. So I would think if we actually grabbed an anchor, because remember, normal cables can only do eight channels, right? So if we do an anchor here, and we grab a dense cable, and we were to bring this down, uh, let's just anchor. Oop, I didn't want to anchor that point though. Network tool, shift right click, anchor. All right. Sounds like a donkey. I don't know why it sounds like a donkey to me, but it does. Okay. So that's good, right? We've got that automated. Um, we just missing channels. Let's make sure we also turn on auto sort and that should be good. Okay. So that will allow for us to get the entangle porters. So now let's look at getting a couple of those. So let's get uh, two of these because we're actually going to use this to get the hexafluoride, right? That's our main goal right now. And we're basically going to input into a quantum entangle porter. So we're going to put this in the ground. And we're going to say on the top, and let's just clear all of these. Okay. And then here on the gases, we're going to say uh, none until um, we just leave the top as input. And then we're going to say on the bottom is output here in a second. But we're going to set this. So what we want to do is we want to say soul. Not highlight over something when you press U. We're just going to click this checkbox. And there we go. So now we can set this to bottom is output. And that should go into this. And now we have kind of a buffer point of gas. Okay. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to remember how to get the actual um, hydrofluoric acid first. So the chemical dissolution chamber with fluorite will give us hydrofluoric acid. So sulfuric. Uh, and then what machine is that? So that is the chemical dissolution chamber. So chemical. Uh, we actually probably should grab that porter real quick. Um, the chemical dissolution chamber. Uh, which I do not actually have on AutoCraft. So let me get that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so let's get this going here. So we're going to kind of make this a little simpler because we're going to set this kind of right next to the drawer. So we're going to say, actually, I guess we could put this here. We don't need to put it over there. It's kind of thinking over there because of the uh, quantum entangle porter. Quantum entangle porter doesn't need any sort of energy. It can actually transmit energy, um, which is a good thing. So let's just do... Uh, this set and then on the left side we're going to say output and then here we're going to say input uh, of that if that'll work or is that the extra I don't think that's the extra slot okay we set auto eject on oh we need to make sure the gas is side that's what we're missing Got to remember, gases, items, fluids, slurries, all that stuff, different tabs. Okay, 
So we're good there. And then on this side, we're going to have to get some sort of way to pull items. So I actually do know that functional storage does have a pusher upgrade that I just kind of never looked at before for some reason. But this should help us here. Uh, just a wee bit, even if it's a little bit, it'll be, it'll help us. So we don't have to do any pipes or anything like that. So let's get that. Let's look at the direction we want to push this out of to. So that's east. Okay, so that is going to start running. We're going to then, of course, mute that because that is annoying. Uh, energy upgrades, speed upgrades. So both of those. And then let's make sure that we've actually check marked this as power surge, uh, bypass limit, all of that stuff. So now we've got hydrofluoric acid. Okay. With the hydrofluoric acid, we then can look at getting the uranium oxide. Okay. So uranium oxide is going to be the more, uh, the bigger option, right? The bigger thing. How do we want to do uranium? That is a question that I don't really have an answer to. Um, for the most part, I kind of just want to smelt it down. Um, I'm really not feeling like doing some massive processing. I know we it's always kind of like mechanism, or it's always uh, industrial foregoing, or it's like always occultism. Um, I don't think there's any real other way to do this. We could do it to like this step, where it's kind of doubling it outright. Um, we could do, hmm, yeah, that's my problem is I just don't feel like doing this right now, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. We're, we're going to stop here in for a second and talk. Um, I'm kind of getting burned out of this series. I, I know it's kind of getting to that point because of about 60 episodes in. We're still going to push, um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get um, the stuff for mechanism. We're going to push through this. We're going to do it, um, I think, with the purification chamber. We're not going to go all out um, with this this time. But this is you know raw uranium. Uh, put that into a purification chamber with oxygen. The uranium uh, becomes uranium clumps. Uranium clumps can then be crushed into dirty uranium. And then dirty uranium can then become uranium dust. We're not doing anything with the sulfuric acid because, honestly, this production, this whole thing, not the greatest. Let me tell you outright, this was not the best you know, best way to do it. Um, and in the future, maybe we'll look into it. But right now, I just kind of want to get this done. I kind of want to get somewhere on this and uh, kind of start processing that. So let's get the purification chamber, the crusher, and then the... Uh, what was it again? I keep forgetting to bookmark it every time. But that's alright. So, we're looking at the purification chamber. Okay, the crusher. The enrichment chamber. And then smelt it. Okay, so the smelting we can do with a normal furnace. But that is the three machines that I'm going to get. I'm going to get them as high as I can with the tiers. Just because that way it'll be easier. Um, and then uh, I'll do that twice. Get two of each. And we'll just run through one. And then uh, we'll wrap this episode up. Alright? Be right back. Alright, so I think I've got all the machines here. So the one thing we're going to have to take into account is we need oxygen. Right? Um, this is oxygen. And I'm kind of wondering if we could piggyback out off of this. So if I just grab two more entangle porters. Right, because we're we're wirelessly transmitting chemicals at this point. Um, if I were to put this, because right, it's just always running. Um, I'm kind of wondering, can I put the entangler porter right here? Okay, uh, we do ox, and we'll just set. So on the gases side, we'll say on the top is input. We'll clear everything. Do top is input. And then here, do bottom is output. And we can see if that'll work. And we did gases, right? Input on the top. Or is it the front? Okay, so this is oriented weird. But that's all right. So we should still be good. 
right? We're still getting oxygen because this is actually slacking, of course, because the, the chemical oxidizers and sulfur, they always slack. We really need to make probably triple of the amounts I've made here to get this actually constant. But for right now, that'll work. So we've got the oxy uh, line there. We've got that, okay? So let's get this going. So we're going to start this line off with the purification chamber, okay? I've got all of the upgrades here that we could ever need. Let's get these set in order. And then let's actually also get speed and energy, okay? So we're going to get a, another pusher upgrade. Uh, I probably should just make a couple chests. So let's do 64 chests. Let's go for a pusher. Okay. So this is going to be to the west. Okay. And then this side is going to be cleared input. We're going to do split. And then, of course, we don't have power. But we're also going to set the porter down on the oxy set here. And we're going to say push, eject. So that'll give us oxygen. Okay. Now we're just going to do the power system. Uh, this is this one. So we're just going to set that there, do that, do that. Oh, not what I meant to do. That, and then let's make sure we just configure it to make it look all nice and pretty. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to push the line out this direction. So we're going to want the uh, crusher up next. So that should be on the back is input, on the front is output. We're going to make sure auto eject is on. Let's actually go here as well. And we're going to say output, auto eject on. So yeah, we're going to definitely need to change up the oxygen. But that's okay. So let's get this upgraded. And then with that one, we're going to do the purification chamber. All right, clear that, back is input, front is output, auto eject on, make sure we're doing the same thing here. Why are you not? Oh, it's because you're the wrong machine. Enrichment chamber, not my, my apologies on that one. So clear, input, output. Okay, get some upgrades in you. And then make sure split. Okay, so there's that. And then what we're gonna need now is a furnace, uh, which apparently I have not auto crafted. So let me quickly craft up two of those and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got the furnace here. We've got two netherite furnaces. Uh, one of my questions I wanna look at here is can I put a blast furnace alongside all these upgrades? I can. Okay, so that'll make this much, much quicker. Um, so auto input, auto output, we're going to clear this by shift clicking onto the center. Okay. Um, and the input is on the back. The output is on the front. We'll get to the output here in a second, but that is the system. Okay. This is technically only going to double it. It's not that great, but Hey, we're doubling it. I mean, that's uh, for the amount of machines here. It's not a bad start. Of course I can definitely do more. Uh, we may come back to this in the future. Okay, let's get that muted. And that should be perfect. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to get the next side done uh, real quick here. It looks like these are going to be the holdup for right now. Yeah, so I just need to get a drawer or something to temporarily. So let's do output to the right. So none there. Okay, that should help it. You can see how fast that's actually going. Okay, so that is good, right? 
So the next episode, we're going to get yellow cake uranium. We're going to get the finished part of the uh, actual uh, uranium hexafluoride. We're going to get that and then hopefully get to the fission fuel. But for right now, I think that's a good place to stop. Of course, these episodes are a little bit shorter just because I'm kind of trying to fit in just small portions at a time. Uh, that way, it's a little bit more digestible and also kind of a little bit more follow alongable, I guess you could say. That's not even really a word, but hey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.